What's going on guys, this is Goofy Goop the Balls, here today bringing you a video to compare the Concussion Grenade to the Flashbang Grenade in Modern Warfare Remastered. This is my first Modern Warfare Remastered video, I've been focusing a lot on Infinite Warfare, but if you guys do want to see some more Modern Warfare Remastered videos, let me know in a comment down below. So to compare these two grenades, I'm going to be doing something very similar to what I did in Black Ops 3. I'm going to be looking at the effects both of these grenades have, the throw time, both the time to get the grenade out of your hand, as well as the time to get your gun back up and ready to use, the throw range, how far you can throw both of these grenades, and the effective range of both of them. What is the explosive radius, and how does the effect of the grenade differ depending on where you are in that explosive radius, and I'll be covering a few other miscellaneous differences between the two, and I'll throw those into whatever category they sort of fit into. So first things first, the effects of both of the grenades. Looking at the flashbang, that's pretty much all it does. It just blinds you, and that's about it. You can still run around, you can still look around, move around, everything exactly the same. It's just it completely blinds you and it's hard to see. The stun grenade, on the other hand, slows both your movement speed and how fast you can look around by about 90%. So how I tested this is, I turned with my normal character, and then I turned with a stun character, and I tried to slow down the normal character to match how fast the stun character was moving, and I had to slow it down to about 10% to match it, so that means that it decreases your looking around speed by 90%, and the same can be said about movement speed. Now one other thing about the effects of these two grenades, the stun grenade, it doesn't matter where you're looking when it hits you, all that matters is how close it was to you when you got hit by it. With the flashbang, however, if you're looking directly at it, that's the only time you're going to get the full effect of it. If it goes off directly behind you, the flash's effectiveness will be reduced by about 50%, meaning it'll affect you for half as long as it should have if it went off in front of you at the same distance away. And if it goes off to your sides, it'll reduce the effectiveness by about 25%. Moving on to the throw times, I measured exactly how long it took from when you press the button to when it takes to get the grenade out of the hand, and from when you press the button to how long it takes to get your gun back up and you'll be able to fire a shot. So for the flashbang, I measured in slow motion. It took 1.07 seconds to get it out of your hand, and then 1.87 seconds to fire a shot. For the stun grenade, it took 0.63 seconds to get it out of your hand, and 1.13 to get your gun back up and get a shot off. So this is interesting. Not only does the stun have a much faster time to throw, it also has a much faster time to bring your gun back up. So that's something that's important to note. So next up we have throwing range. The flashbang can be thrown about this far on the map shipment, and the stun grenade can be thrown about this far, which according to my math is about 25% farther. And this is when standing still and looking at the same spot in the sky. So some side notes here. The stun grenade explodes on impact. There is no timed explosive. All it does is it explodes on impact, but it has to be out of your hand for one second at the minimum before it explodes. So you can't just throw it straight at the ground and expect it to explode. Once it leaves your hand, at least one second has to pass by before it'll explode. The flashbang on the other hand is a timed explosive. It goes off exactly 2.6 seconds after you press the button to throw it. So because of this timed explosive on the flashbang, it kind of limits how far you can throw it, but it does provide a unique way to use it because you can throw it up in the air, have it explode in the air, and affect a bunch of people from an aerial perspective. Whereas with a stun grenade, it has to hit a certain surface before it'll go off. And finally, we have the effective ranges of both grenades, both how far away you can be from this grenade and still have it hit you, as well as how strong is the effect of the grenades, depending on how close you are to it when it goes off. So unfortunately I had to test this in split screen because there's no theater mode in Modern Warfare Remastered and thus the best way to do this to know the exact distances of these was to do it in split screen. But on the map here you can see the effective range of the flash grenade. This is the farthest away you can be from the grenade when it goes off to have it still affect you. And this is a pretty big range. I mean that's scary. It's almost the entire map of shipment which is, I mean, to be fair it's not that big of a map but still one flash grenade can cover the entire area, that's pretty scary. But anyways, if you're at the edge of this range when it goes off, it'll affect you for less than a quarter of a second. I couldn't get down an exact measurement because I couldn't throw it exactly at the edge of that range, but I know it'll affect you for less than a quarter of a second, but it will affect you. And if it hits you at completely point blank range, like right in your face, it'll go off and affect you for exactly six seconds. And I also tested different distances between the farthest range and the point blank range to see what kind of progression we'd have in terms of how much it would affect you depending on where you're standing and it seems we get a linear progression. So looking at the maximum range, if it hits you here it'll affect you for a quarter of a second or less 
and if it hits you at the edge of this circle, it'll affect you between 1 and 1.25 seconds, and at the edge of this circle, 2 and 2.5 seconds, and at the edge of this circle, 3 and 3.5 seconds, and you get how this is going. So all that means is that there is a linear decrease in the effectiveness of the grenade based on how far away from the explosion you are. So for example here, like I said, at point blank range, if it goes off in your face, it'll affect you for exactly 6 seconds. And let's say you move 2 meters away, so you're 2 meters away from the grenade, and now it'll affect you for 5 seconds. And then we can guess, because it's a linear decrease, that if we move another 2 meters away, it'll affect you for 4 seconds. And then another 2 meters, it affects you for 3 seconds, and so on and so forth. And lastly, for the stun grenade here, here is the maximum effective range. And if it hits you at the edge of this circle, it'll affect you for about 3.5 seconds. If it hits you at the edge of this circle, it'll affect you for about 4.5 seconds. And if it hits you point blank or in this circle somewhere, it'll affect you for about 5.5 seconds. And we also see the same sort of linear decrease as we did with the flash grenade. So if you move, say, 2 meters away from point blank range, it'll affect you 1 second less, and then another 2 meters, 1 second less, up until the edge of the range. So that's it for the comparison, guys. That's what I wanted to share with you. So let me know down in the comments which grenade you think is better and which one you guys use when you play Modern Warfare Remastered. I personally, from this, think that the stun grenade is better. While it does have a smaller effective range, you can throw it farther, you can throw it faster, you can get your gun back up faster, and I kind of like the effect it has where it actually stuns the enemy and they can't really move. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you guys are new around here, subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.